Hi everyone, it's Jacob and Lauren, and we are here talking about a journaling practice to change your life today. Um, this is video two as part of our Heal Plus Create Writer's Retreat series. I just wanna say, if you're watching these videos and they're really resonating with you, if you feel really called, uh, please check out our Writer's Retreat. It's happening on May 21st and May 22nd. And a lot of the energy and the vibe that you're going to get in these videos, you're going to find that same energy and vibe at the retreat. So if this is really hitting home for you, you're going to feel right at home at the retreat. Now, Jacob, I know uh, you've been journaling, I think for years, and you've told me before you credit your journaling practice as the thing that was really the creative catalyst for you. Is that right? Yeah. I, I didn't realize at the time, uh, Lauren, the, during video one, we talked a lot about stuckness and, you know, just feeling so afraid of getting out there creatively. And um, I had just really come through a dramatic and traumatic life uh, turn upside down for me back in 2008, nine. And I had had moved to a whole different area, uh, Austin, Texas, way far away from Boise, Idaho, where I live now. And I was working a part-time job and I really was struggling to find my identity as a person again. And what was so interesting is my father had given me a copy of Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way before I left, you know, to make this huge move with my young family. And he said, I think this will help you someday. I'm going to need it back. And um, I don't remember what happened the day I grabbed The Artist's Way on my way to the warehouse where I had this part-time job, but um, I grabbed it and began reading and I'll never forget sitting there with so this cloud of like confusion and um, disappointment and feelings of failure and all of these things. I don't remember exactly why I opened the book and started reading, but when I did, you know, tears started falling onto the page and I began immediately to do her morning pages practice. And I really credit okay. that with helping me get reoriented in life. And I've never stopped. I mean, I've missed maybe three days in the last, you know, decade or so. Um, it's just so much a part of my life. And we talked briefly in the first video about self-discovery and then self-acceptance and then how that leads to transformation. It leads to creative expression. And so that's the really short thumbnail version of how it began for me. And since then, I've learned a lot of things about brain science and psychology and, and all of the reasons it's kind of the amazing reasons it really does work to help us grow new neural pathways and connect with our resources. But yeah, that's my story. Well, I also want to say, um, so if some of you are feeling like stuck and you haven't written for years, journaling can really open you up and get you started. But I know there's a lot of writers out there who already have been journaling for years, but they kind of say, well, I'm just journaling. I'm not a real writer. I'm just journaling. Or mm -hmm. I would love to write a book someday, but all I know how to do is journal. Yeah. I can't tell you how many clients I've had who've come to me who've been journaling for years and thought they could never do anything with all of these journal entries and have mm -hmm. actually ended up making a memoir out of it, mm -hmm. really pulling sometimes exactly verbatim passages from their journals, going through the entries, um, writing a bit here and a bit there and, you know, making some transitions, but really pulling together journal entries to make a book. And it works really well. And it's so many writers say to me, well, you can't do that. Or that's cheating, isn't it? You know, like that's not being a real writer. Um, you can do that. People do do that. And it really it ends up in a book that's very immediate and that's very visceral and that people can really relate to because the emotion is right there on the page. So if you are someone who has said, well, I've journaled for years, but I'm not a real writer, this program is for you. We are not only going to be helping people start writing again who haven't written in years or maybe who have never written and have never identified with being in a writer in any way, and we're also going to be helping writers who have only written privately sort of walk out and take baby steps and start to share that and right. start to think seriously about writing a book and about putting a book out into the world. So no matter where you are on that spectrum, there's something in this program that will be helpful for you. And during our weekend retreat, I'm actually teaching a workshop on memoir. So for mm -hmm. all of you who are like, I, I know I have a memoir inside of me, and that's a lot of writers. I really urge you to check out our weekend retreat. And Jacob, I think you're going to be doing some stuff around um, journaling and, like you said, breaking up those neural pathways during the retreat as well. That's kind of your specialty. 
<laughs> well, over, over the years, I have a, the kind of brain that I, I'll jump into an experience, but then I want to see the research, you know, backing for it and understand it better as far as why, okay, that worked. Why did it work? And so, yeah, I'll be digging into um, a practice of really reconnecting with the inner creative self. And I love the, I love showing the nervous system charts and the right brain, left brain charts, uh, Lauren. And my purpose is not to fill all of our brains with a bunch of knowledge and like anatomical, like I know which part of the brain did this. My purpose is to, is to give the left side of your brain the kind of comfort that says, oh, I'm going to this is clearly research based. There's clearly facts involved. I'm going to let go or relax a little bit so that this creative self can come out and play, can come in and, and really have the experience. So we're going to be kind of blending uh, over this weekend retreat and then throughout the writers community, we'll be blending some of that uh, scientific backing with what we're really all about is experiential. Like I'm only curious about the knowledge behind something if it helps me more deeply experience it and then be able to take it home with me so it's mine. Yeah, so if, if this is you, if you are feeling called, if you're hearing this and you're like, gosh, I've always wanted to have some time for me in the morning or just every day, just sit and journal, or I already journal, but I want to take it beyond that. I want to see what else I can do. Or I know I need to journal, but I'm stuck there. I am scared that maybe I'll be too self-indulgent if I'm putting all this time towards journaling. You know, I get that a lot from writers too. Like, is it okay for me to kind of chew over these past memories and, you know, talk about myself so much? I get that from memoir writers as well. Yes, it's not only okay for you to talk about yourself on the page, but it will help you thrive as a human being to talk yeah. about yourself on the page. It will make you a better human being, honestly. It will increase your self-awareness. It will help your immune system. And I don't know if that's something a lot of people know, but they have done a lot of studies where people who journal every day, their immune systems are stronger because they're able to take themselves out of the experience, out of like being really reactive and feel like something's happening to them. And they can see that bigger picture and say, oh, okay, I see how the pieces fit together. I see how I have a choice. I see how I have power. Mm. So it can bring a lot of your power back. Journaling is such a powerful practice. Jacob and I are going to be diving deep into this and other strategies during the weekend retreat and during the program. Now, I know there is a limited number of spots for the program, Jacob. Can you talk a little bit about that? I'm not sure how many it is, actually. Yeah, and, and actually, you said something earlier about is it okay to be you know, experiencing these things over and over again on paper. And Annie East Nin, who's one of my favorite memoirists, and actually people who wonder if, if you can have whole books made of journals. Well, she, she became very famous for books made of just nothing but her journals. But she said this, she said, we, we write to taste life twice in the moment and in retrospect. And um, I loved what Lauren said about journaling as a way to process and also journaling as a way to... Um, gain more self-awareness, like spotting the patterns that, that keep showing up on the paper over and over again for years sometimes. But without that, it's easy for them just to remain in the unconscious and wonder why, like Carl Jung said, uh, until we bring what's unconscious to consciousness, it will control your life and you will call it fate. And so what we want to do is help writers begin to have more and more choice. Um, and then you asked me a question. I thought what I'd do is share the screen real quick, Lauren, so that we could um, look at this together. And actually, that's not the main thing I wanted to show everybody, and also not that one. We have lots of programs we're doing right now. <laughs> so the Writers Retreat, yeah, so we have 97 total spots for, not for the kickoff retreat, Lauren. We can have as many people as we want come to that. Um, that's for pretty much everyone. And then those who want to carry forward with us and get involved in our launch group for the Heal Plus Create Writers community. Right now, we only have 97 available spots on that. Um, so we're inviting everyone to the retreat. And then uh, 97 right now, lucky people, we may open that up some more um, if, if we end up with just way too many at first, Lauren. But I would say don't wait. Um, if you feel like this is probably going to be for you, then it's probably the time to, to jump in. Well, and I always say, you know, with all of my classes and groups, every time I do something, there's a circle that opens and some people are called to the circle 
and some people aren't. If you're not called to the circle, cool, that's fine. Maybe we'll see you next year. Maybe we'll see you for a different event. Mm -hmm. If you do feel called to the circle, if you're getting a yes in your body as you're watching this, and if you're an intuitive person, you'll feel it. You'll feel pulled towards this. You'll want to know more. You'll be curious. This will be sparking something in your mind. It will feel good. You'll feel a resonance. If you're getting that, yes, you're being called to the circle. A door is opening right now. This is an opportunity. Mm. It's still open. You can still walk through it. So come on in because that door is going to close. Um, even though we don't have a cap on the weekend retreat, that's May 21st and 22nd, we can only take registration up until the Friday before because then it's going to start and whoever's in is in. So mm. if this is for you, if you know you want in, if you have questions, please get a hold of Jacob. Please get a hold of me. There's a link in the email that you're watching this video from. You can go right to the website from there. Use the contact form. If you're watching this on YouTube, drop a comment in the comments box below. Both of us are on Facebook. Both of us are on Twitter. You can reply to this email. There's a million ways to get a hold of us. So if you have questions about anything, no question is too big or too small, please get a hold of us and let's get those questions answered. Lori, and, is it okay if I offer a, a gift? Uh, oh, for, yeah. For those who want to try a different uh, version of journaling, maybe they've been doing it for years or they just have never started. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share a screen real quick so you can see it. And jump back to the right screen here. So what we're what I'm offering is this Creative Spark Multimedia Program. And it has an, an ebook, it's about 11 pages long, and also an audio version of that. And what this is, is showing you a very specific and easy to follow 10 to 15 minute journaling practice. Um, I've checked with Julia Cameron and a lot of therapists and they're all like, yeah, they can do that right along with any current journaling thing they might be doing. I also have a video, an instructional video in there and a meditation for writers to help get you into the, the brainwave state where you can actually do these things. So there'll be a link in this email where you can just go grab that. You don't have to opt in again or give us your name and email again. You've already done that. You just grab this link and, and try it. And we would love to hear how it works for you. Well, and I do urge people to sign up for that free gift because a lot of times when you get a free gift, it's a really nice way to test and see if you're an energy match mm. with the person who's giving the gift. So if you grab Jacob's gift and you're like, ah, oh, this isn't for me, you'll know. If you grab it and you're like, I really like this, this is doing something. And we've had so many people report back. I remember when you first came out with it, Jacob, and like hundreds of people were like, wow, this is really working. This is crazy. Nothing's worked for me before. This is opening up boxes within me that I didn't even know were there. Right. Um, if you get that kind of reaction, you're an energy match. You're an energy match for Jacob. You're an energy match for me. You're an energy match for this program. If you're an energy match, you should follow up on it. Again, you should walk through that door because your life will improve. If you walk through doors that you are an energy match for, chances are your life is going to get better. In our well, next, video, oh, go ahead. No, you just touched on something important here, Lauren. We certainly um, can serve any variety of writers here. And on the, on the page, we talk about, there, there are some who it's probably not for, but in general, we have such an emphasis on intuitive, highly sensitive, um, introverted typewriters, because you have a lot of knowledge and I have not as much as you, but some knowledge about that specific type and the very unique stumbling blocks, you know, the, the people who are more extroverted or, um, you know, in, in other ways, just find themselves having an easier time out there. We've developed strategies and processes specifically for people. So I love that you brought intuition into it and feeling because this is, this is what our community is designed for is to support that kind of writer. <laughs> Yo, and I'd like to say, introvert or extrovert, if you're intuitive, come on in. You're going to like it here. <laughs> you really are. Um, because I know a lot of intuitive people are introverts, but I have a fair amount of people in my classes who are extroverts, but very intuitive and also yeah. feel out of step in the world. Yeah. Um, in our next video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about how Jacob and I work as teachers the kind of energy we bring, what to expect, our specific approach. That's going to be in video. Three. Like I said, if you have any questions before then, please send them our way. Until then, we'll see you in video three. Bye. Thanks, everyone.